In this video, you will learn how to set up Volfix to identify important support, resistance and volume levels for a period, create a grid of levels, and use it during a trading session. Homework is about gathering information, creating a grid of levels, and calculating possible trading scenarios before the trading session opens. Which levels and prices should be added to the trading grid? Market close price, last day. Max, min price, last day and week. Volume-based support and resistance zone. Last day, week, contract, period. Main volume levels. Day, week, contract, period. Even a beginner trader can determine closing prices, maximum, minimum of the day and week. We will not emphasize this. But the definition of volume analysis levels. Let's look at it in detail. It is not difficult. You will soon see it yourself. Remember to pause the video so you can take your time and absorb the new information. How to identify the main volume level. The main volume level is the price range over a period of time, day, week or contract, where the total volume of all trades is 30% of the total volume of trades for the selected period. In simple terms, this is the price range, for example, for a day in which the largest trades were made. MVL is used by traders every day. With the help of this level, inside day traders can determine whether buyers or sellers are controlling the price at the moment what the main trend is, what the potential of the current price movement is, and this is not the whole list. In Volfix platform, this area is determined automatically and is represented by two lines in the histogram on the left side of the chart. Activate this feature on your charts. Repeat the settings for the horizontal histogram as shown on the screen. Steps. 1. Start the Volfix application. 2. Layout. Select the saved Edu Euro FX. 3. In each module go to chart setup. 4. Studies, horizontal histogram, settings in front of you. Repeat the settings for the vertical histogram as shown on the screen. Steps. 1. In each module, choose chart settings, vertical histogram. 2. Studies vertical histogram greater than the settings in front of you. Three, when you are finished with the chart, select setup, save this layout. Four, market watch, layout, save layout, apply. If you have done everything correctly, the histograms of each chart will look like the example in front of you. MVL or core is the slang name for this level among traders. It is within the boundaries of this level that the bulls and bears argue their interests to take control of the price. Both sides are interested in placing their trades at these prices, so the concentration of trades and total volume in this area is much greater compared to other prices traded for the day, week or contract. Daily or weekly call, in addition to being an important level, this can also be a volume support or resistance level. It is a dynamic level. As trading progresses, major players may show interest in the price above or below the core area. As soon as the volume at this level exceeds the total TPO volume by 30%, the program will calculate and assign a new core range. The core of the day may move several times during a trading session. Market auction, balance and imbalance. Financial markets are an endless two-sided auction where the price is determined by the negotiations between buyers and sellers. Stock and futures markets, like any other market, exist to facilitate trading. As a result, markets strive to reach a state of balance, where there is relative agreement between buyers and sellers. Market behavior can be divided into two states, balance and imbalance. When markets are in balance, there is a sense of consensus. The market does not make sudden price movements and most of the volume is executed within the value zone. Neither side of the market has enough conviction to push prices in any direction. A period of imbalance occurs when one side of the market, buyers or sellers, becomes more aggressive and pushes the price in one direction. During this imbalance, the market tests several different prices in an attempt to find value again. Imbalanced markets tend to rebalance, so imbalances are unlikely to last for long. Volume-based support and resistance levels. After hearing the words support and resistance, you probably relaxed, leaned back in your chair and thought, 
technical analysis, I'm not here for that. Thank you for your trust, we appreciate it and we are sure that you will soon be convinced that you have made the right choice. Unlike chart analysis, where the trader focuses mainly on testing the price extremum, a trader cannot check how reliable a support or resistance level is before opening a trade. Volume-based support and resistance, SUP and RES, the area of balance, can be 1. Support. As a result of volume pressure, buyers have taken control of the price and pushed the price out of the balance area. A rise in price is observed. The bulls have defeated the bears in this battle. 2. Resistance. As a result of volume pressure, sellers have maintained price control and have pushed the price out of the balance area. A fall in price has been observed. The bears have won this battle. In simple words, when the market enters the imbalance phase, the balance area, where there has been volume activity, gains support status if the price moves above the balance area. If the price has left the balance area and trades below it, then this level gets resistance status. Both levels are marked with a range on the price scale. Examples of such levels and their fixing are shown on the screen. When communicating or chatting, traders indicate the lower price first, then the final price of the range after a dash. For example, number 1 SUP 1.005.01.0075. Number 2 SUP 1.001 to 1.002. Support and resistance levels are formed during the trading session. A trader personally observes what orders are placed, what volume of trades are concluded in the process of range formation, how long the positions are placed. Each range of support and resistance is a real trade made in that range when the market was in balance. No subjectivity or speculation, cold calculation, whether the big money is behind the range or not. The real purpose and name of the levels, support and resistance, is the only thing that is similar to technical analysis levels, chart analysis to be precise. Support and resistance levels can be several. Try to abstract from the habits that are likely to prevail at first. A two-way auction means that there must be a buyer and a seller for a transaction to take place. You can't sell multiple GC Comex contracts unless there are buy orders on the book and vice versa. Stay focused and try to master this part of your homework thoroughly. Correct and accurate identification of volume support and resistance levels will create a strong foundation for productive analysis of volume activity in the market and for reducing the size of stop orders. It is recommended to start preparing an hour before the start of the trading session. Trading strategies that use volume analysis of market activity differ from popular but outdated strategies that are based on indicators calculated only on price and time. Volume analysis is a method of assessing trend conditions based on volume activity. In fact, volume is one of the oldest day trading indicators in the market. The volume indicator is also the most popular indicator used by professional traders. You need a buyer and a seller to make a trade. Remember this. You will use this rule every day. Very important. To consolidate your knowledge and test yourself, we recommend that you do the exercise yourself. Click on the link in the description of this video to get the file with the task description. Now pause the video. When you have completed the task, resume watching the lesson. Press the pause button. In order to create a grid of levels correctly, it's important to understand how to read histograms and volume profiles. A histogram is a graphical representation of the distribution of numerical data. The histogram of the total volume data by price for a period and the total volume for a time frame are shown on the chart. The chart itself also shows the histogram of the volume distribution in each bar, allowing you to quickly and accurately identify price ranges with the highest volume. Take a look at the chart. Displaying all the data as numbers is hard to read and makes it difficult to analyze the mass of information. We've gone the extra mile to optimize the way we calculate trading volumes and present the data visually. To read the histogram correctly, you need to know what data it is displaying. There are three points on the chart. Number three is the maximum data value 1200 contracts in five minutes. This value is shown as the peak of the histogram. As soon as there is a value above 1250 contracts, the peak of the histogram will change. Hash 2 to 600 contracts in 5 minutes. This value is half of the maximum value. Visually it is clearly visible on the histogram. Number 1 to 10 contracts. 
the pattern of the histogram depends on the maximum and minimum values. All other values are shown as a percentage of the maximum value. Both histograms are displayed according to this principle. Let's set the necessary levels for the period of the current contract. Open the daily chart. Repeat the settings of the upper part of the chart in front of you. Start and end date, price scale, time frame, chart type, cluster, volume. Now you need to enable the display of TPO 30% for each bar, so you can see the volume core of each day. This will help you to identify important levels. The sequence is as follows. Setup, studies, TPO cluster, cluster size percent 30. Repeat the parameters as shown on the screen. Look at the chart. In each bar, two lines highlight the area of the day time frame core. Here is an example of how the chart should look. Let's start with the histogram on the left side of the chart. This is the total volume by price or horizontal hist. The peak of the histogram tells us the main area of volume accumulation for the current contract. The highlighted area is 30% of the volume from the total volume at all prices traded for that contract. Let's mark the main volume area with two price lines. 1.095i 1.101. Now look at the rest of the histogram peaks. I have marked them with numbers. Let's set the narrow cluster areas for each peak. Set the lines as shown in this chart. For clarity and to reinforce the principle of setting important volume levels for the daily time frame, I have highlighted the volume clusters on the chart for each level. Main volume area, main level, as this was the most sought after price range during the contract. Buyers and sellers actively fought for this area. Levels 2, 3, 4 were formed during 3 to 4 trading sessions and should be considered as resistance in a downtrend. We recommend using different colors to mark support and resistance levels. Green color, support. Red color, resistance. Orange color, main volume level. Traders do not always sign the levels, they just follow the color marking. Look again at the grid of levels for the daily time frame. The example is on the screen. We recommend that you pause the video and create your own grid of levels for the daily time frame. The next stage of preparation is to identify the volume support and resistance levels, the volume core area, the main trend within the week. Do not forget the necessary price levels, max, min, close of the last session. The principle and algorithm is the same as the grid of levels for the current contract. Sometimes traders get confused about which days of the week to take into account and use their data to create the grid. Let me explain with an example. If the week is coming to an end and you are preparing for Friday's trading session, you take the chart from Monday to Thursday and analyze it, selecting levels. But what if you are preparing for Tuesday's trading session? Should you calculate only Monday's activity? On Monday to Tuesday, Wednesday we take into account the grid levels of the previous calendar week. Why is that? Isn't it easier to count 5 days from the current day and take this part of the chart into account? Volume analysis allows you to follow the movement of large capital coming to the market from investment companies, hedge funds, banks, pension funds and large traders. The placing of large trades is a well-planned operation carried out by certain people at certain times, on certain days of the week. A simple example. On Tuesday, the bank placed a sale of 450 lots on the GC Comex futures contract. The sale has been profitable for several days. What do you think the probability is that part of this sale, or perhaps the whole trade, will be closed on Friday before the weekend? It's a very big risk to keep a trade open for two days when the market is down. We've taken care of that, now let's prepare a grid of weekly levels. Open the daily time frame chart. Repeat the settings from the upper part of the chart in front of you. Date greater than the 31st of July 2023 to the 7th of August 2023. Price scale 2. Time frame, H1. Type of chart, cluster volume. Click on apply to download the chart. If your chart looks like the example, you have done everything correctly. Let's define the important volume ranges. The principle and algorithm is the same as the level grid for the current contract. Now you can test your skills and how well you have understood the definition of important levels on the daily time frame. Pause the video after the list of actions. Try to identify important volume levels for the week. Core of the week, 
volume support and resistance, good price levels, max min and close. Watch the video again after you have done everything and evaluate how well you have done. You can now pause the video. On the screen is a grid of important volume levels for the week. Compare this with your grid of volume levels. I will comment on each level as it is formed. The first level is resistance. The price range on the slide in front of you. To display the level as a broad line, repeat the settings I have shown you. The area field is the height of the line and its transparency. The other parameters you already know. With the vertical lines, I have emphasized that this period of Monday has been taken into account, as the main volume was traded during these hours. Define the main balance, highlighted by rectangles. On the horizontal histogram we select the price range with the highest volume activity. We can see from the imbalance activity that the price has been pushed by sellers. By returning to these levels, they can hold the level to their advantage. Level number two is the core of the week. Main volume level, formed during two trading sessions, traded at the same prices. It is a typical case when the core of the week is within the range between the high and low prices. And below and above this level are volume support and resistance levels, but there are types of weeks that go beyond the core pattern. For example, the core of the week could well be below where the support level is. All that is needed is for the 408 trades to remain in this area then the maximum accumulation of volume will have moved closer to the low of the week. Level number 3 support after the price fell to 1.095 between the 30th of July and the 2nd of August, buyers immediately seized the opportunity. On the 4th, a buying imbalance at the opening of the US session took the price to the high for the week in a matter of hours. Note that all the buying frenzy was crushed by the resistance level we marked and added to the grid. Marking the support in two areas is not a mistake as both levels are close enough that they can be combined into one area. The grid of levels for the week is finished. Feel free to ask questions to our experts online in Skype support chat. Open the chart module and repeat the above parameters. The example is on the screen in front of you. After entering the parameters, click on apply to load the chart. The chart should look like the one on the screen. The principle of grid construction is the same as for the previous timeframes. Use the histogram on the left side of the chart and the histogram peaks to define important ranges. Start with the main volume level. Then set volume ranges for resistance and support. Try drawing the level grid yourself and compare your results with the example on the screen. Pause the video and do this yourself. When you are ready to test your grid, press play. I am now going to show you how to identify important last day volume levels. By following along with me, you will be able to check how you did on this task. If you haven't prepared your level grid yet, follow my steps step by step. This is our chart for the week plus the 7th of August is Monday. The trading session is over, it is time to select the necessary ranges and place them on the grid. We need a cluster volume chart, time frame 5 or 15 minutes, it is at your discretion. I will show an example on the 15 minute time frame chart. Check again the settings in the upper panel. Dates, price scale, time frame M15 or M5, cluster volume. Note that some of the bars are marked with blue rectangles. This is volume limit, the feature that displays volume levels above the set limit in the form of markers inside the bar. I will show you how they are set in my case. You can repeat these settings. To understand in detail how to set volume limit, Use the link in the description and watch the video tutorial. It's not difficult. Volume limit 400 lots in 15 minutes will turn the marker blue and 600 contracts will turn the marker celestial color. Zoom in on the chart so that the volume profile of each bar shows the number of contracts. As you can see from the chart, the volume activity started at 1.30 and continued until 11 o'clock. Accordingly, the key levels were formed during this period. Volfix program has assigned us the main volume level or another name of the level, core. Let's fix this range on the price scale. I will highlight for you the areas where there was balance activity on the market. It is not necessary to do this, but for those who are just beginning to understand the discipline of volume analysis, it will help to understand faster and learn how to form a grid of levels correctly. First we work with the area where there was volume activity. I'm going to adjust a few balances. Now let's mark the minimum and maximum prices. I will change the color of each balance to red or green. 
depending on whether buyers or sellers have set the imbalance. Now let's set support and resistance levels. I will now show you how to use the volume limit for the horizontal histogram to select the necessary ranges. Click on setup then horizontal histogram limits and select total limits. Now let's add a volume limit. In the value field, enter 1500 contracts and choose a color for this filter. Now click on the new button. The first filter is finished. Let's add another filter of 2500 contracts. Close the filter settings panel. The side histogram now highlights the prices with a total volume above 1500 and 2500 contracts. Look at the histogram. An interesting pattern is that the high volume prices are not chaotically scattered throughout the day's range, but are densely concentrated near each other. Let's take advantage of this and set support and resistance levels, focusing on the histogram peaks and filter markers. Support 1 and support 2 are not difficult to identify. We will also mark the price at 1.1014 as support, noting the volume in both clusters. This means that 513 and 959 contracts were placed at the same price with an interval of about one hour. Resistance is just above the main volume area. There were volume trades in this range and balancing activity below the close of the day. Last day levels are ready. Level grid for three charts with daily, 60 minutes, 15 minutes timeframes is needed to see price dynamics in the long term, medium term within a week and short term within a trading day. If a trader focuses on only one time frame, he is limited within one scale. They miss the opportunity to see more profitable trades. In addition, no matter what time frame a strategy operates in, the trader makes the final decision to open a trade within a trading session. Do you have any idea why professional traders stick to a trend following risk minimizing strategy? Because the reward to risk ratio is always favorable. By looking at the market on three levels, you get more trading signals. Take a look at what a trend looks like from the perspective of volume analysis. I've removed the chart to show how a trend actually forms and what the level grid is for. Just recently, we defined the status of balance levels, support or resistance. Note the chain of balances marked in green. Throughout the uptrend, balance after balance, the price has been controlled by buyers. As long as buyers push the price out of the range of the balance area, the trend continues. New balance area can confirm the continuation of the trend or signal its end. The higher the volume during the trend, the more the price moves. Decreasing volume warns of a possible end of the trend. One of the most important functions of the level grid is the visual representation of volume levels, which helps us to monitor the state of the current trend and to get a signal about its completion. The principle of using the level grid is the same for the week and the last day of trading. Determine the volume resistance and support levels. Use the main volume level range as a guide. Prices above this level are the area of buying activity. Prices below the main volume level are the area of seller's activity. Depending on the range of the week's closing price, you can estimate the probability of a continuation of the trend in the next week. In the example, you can see that the closing price of the week was in the area of the main volume level. The MVL status is resistance. There is a high probability that sellers will not let the price go beyond the main volume level area. In this case, we can look for selling entry points. If the sellers are unable to maintain the buying pressure and the price goes higher, then we will work to buy. Let's look at next week's chart. Notice that the sellers held the price below the main volume level until the end of next week, but they were unable to extend the price corridor beyond the previous week's low. With a grid of volumetric support and resistance levels in front of you, it is not difficult to calculate trading scenarios and decide where to open and close a trade. Your task is to see who is going to push the price out of balance. If it is the buyer, then the buying trend will continue. The next balance, again, the buyers have kept control of the price. Level by level, a stable trend is established. As long as the control of the price is in other hands.